can you hear me now? Well, not actually, I'm gonna talk about AT&T. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Mike Rennick. I am your host for this video. Welcome to another episode of uh, Exploring Paradise, your guide to Florida's West Coast. We're sitting here at Ken Thompson Park, so we're right on the verge of Longboat Key, but it's a beautiful day. This is one of my favorite spots, so I thought I'd share this video, or I'd film it here. Um, but I wanna talk about what's happening with cell service on Longboat Key. We've done many videos in terms of Verizon, who is the major provider out there that with towers, they've gone to 5G up on the north end. But something recently has happened. The town commissioners on Longboat has recently given the green light to modify local zoning regulations paving the way for AT&T to enhance its wireless service across the island. The decision allows AT&T to install top-of-the-line antennas on the innovative smart street poles that are part of the on ongoing undergrounding project. So what they're going to do, uh, Verizon is putting um, on poles um, their, their 5G connectivity. These will go on existing light poles and these will service AT&T. But um, previously, Verizon chose to erect nine separate poles for their service improvements, not building on top of our poles, but separate poles. Of these seven or 35 foot structures positioned along the scenic Gulf of Mexico Drive with the remaining two, a more modest 25 feet, tucked within the quiet neighborhoods of the North End. Unlike Verizon, AT&T opted to integrate with the existing infrastructure by mounting its devices on the town's utility poles. This integration involves elevating the pole height slightly from 35 and a half feet to accommodate the new equipment, a slight adjustment from the current zoning limit of 35 feet along Gulf of Mexico Drive. Additionally, AT&T plans to install a compact ground-mounted unit adjacent to each pole. The unit, roughly 12 cubic feet in size, will sit securely on a pad mount, further enhancing the network's reach and reliability. The proposal modifications discussed during the April Town Commission meeting included a slight increase in the maximum allowable pole height to 36 feet so this is allowed and granted permission for the installation of these ground units. So um, sometime last year though, the town commissioners finalized the lease agreement with AT&T, marking a significant step forward with this initiative. The agreement outlines the annual lease fee, ensuring the town benefits financially from this partnership. While the opportunity remains open for other carriers to propose similar enhancements, to date AT&T and Verizon are the only two that have stepped forward with concrete plans. The strategic update promises to significantly boost at and service quality here on Longboat, ensuring residents and visitors alike that they enjoy a stronger and more reliable cell service coverage as they traverse our beautiful coastal community. So here's the challenge, and our city commission is doing well. How do we keep the ambience of Longboat Key, a destination place for many, but yet we allow modern technology to come in like cell service? So Verizon is here. AT&T is going to upgrade their services. There'll probably be more coming. I'll keep everyone up to date. This is, my name is Mike Rennick. My personal, my direct cell, if I could be of any help, is 941-400-8735. Until next time, thanks for watching.